I don't know, just trying to go out and play good football. Um, you know, we got good players on this team and uh, good weapons on the outside. So just try to try to distribute the football, throw it to the open guy. You know, uh, I don't think it's anything in particular. I think um, we've done a decent job at, at certain times of, of executing and, and being an efficient offense, and that's what we look to do. Do you think you've gained anything, Ryan, um, by sitting and watching for the, for the first time? Could you benefit uh, in any way from that, do you think? Um, I mean, I enjoy playing a lot, you know what I mean? Uh, definitely a different aspect of, of just t not taking the little things for granted and, and being on the field and uh, just enjoying every second that I get, you know, preparation and, uh, and competing with the guys. Do you think there's much to be said for a change of scenery? Uh, I don't know. You know, obviously different team, different guys around me, and I uh, enjoy this team a lot. We have a lot of good guys on this team, and... Um, Guys have kept their head down and, and stay strong working, and we just got to stay on that path. Yeah, it's a week to week lead, right? It doesn't really matter what you did in the past few weeks, but I do think with the, the success late in games that we've had, I think there's a confidence level that. Um, we're never out of it, and no matter, as long as we're in striking distance uh, late in the game, I think we have that confidence that, that we can make some plays and, and uh, win the game. Comfort level maybe increasing a part of that as well? Yeah, of course. The more I play with, uh, with this team and, and the guys, the more I prepare, then obviously you're going to get more and more comfortable and, and uh, be able to anticipate things a little bit more. So, yeah, of course, uh, growing more and more comfortable day by day. You didn't play in the game, but what did you see from the Jacksonville defense when this team met them in week three? Physical, you know, they, they pressured a lot, uh, very physical. They uh, kind of set the tone early in the game, and, and we got behind. And it's not a team that, uh, that you want to be playing from behind. They have good pass rush, um, good secondary. So uh, it's going to be tough if you're in that situation. situation. So we want to come out, execute early, and, and be in a good position to, you know, play our game plan throughout the game. What changes for them without Ramsey? Uh, I don't think a lot changes. They, they, play, their, they play their defense. Um, you know, obviously, he's a, he's a great player. But uh, they're going to play their defense just the way they, they did when, when he was there. Ryan, for 10 the red zone, Ryan, how do you, what factors go into that 10 touchdowns and 10 pins? I think guys are executing down there. You know, I think uh, we've had some game plan type plays that we've executed on and then some bread and butter plays that, that we've uh, you know, been working on for a long time and have executed those as well. So um, as long as we keep doing that, we'll be in good shape. Ryan, what's been key in the late game drives when you guys have been down <clears> and needed a score and you've got it three times in four weeks? Yeah, I think the, just the confidence that, that we're going to go win the game. You know, I think uh, guys in that huddle believe in each other, believe that we're going to find a way. You know, we don't really know what that way is going to be, who's going to make the play, but I think there's that confidence that, that somebody's going to make that play and, and get open and, and be able to execute and win the game. For a guy like you who wasn't starting at the beginning of the season, the fact that it's three times in your first four games, has that helped either you or this offense kind of come together in its new form, you think? I don't know. It's not something we really talk about, but uh, I would hope so. You know, I'd hope that there's a there's a confidence level with uh, with me in there. But you know, I know my confidence level and the guys around me is huge. And uh, like I said, there's a there's a level of confidence there that no matter where we're at, as long as we're in striking distance at the end of the game, that you know we're going to find a way to win. Brian, knowing that, that you do control your destiny based on the way your schedule plays out, how important is it that that just doesn't become lock room talk? It becomes something you actually do and execute. Yeah, we have to. I mean, this is the NFL, right? This is a uh, it's a tough, tough league, and, and every week is huge, especially late in the year. So we have to play our best football here down the stretch. Uh, it starts this week at Jacksonville.